did you come from? And how did you hear about us? I came from some place far, far away. A place so far away, you'll never find it. A place so far away, you shouldn't look for it. Look, if you're not going to tell us where you're from, I'm afraid I'm not going to let you go inside. I came from the stars. Or maybe a drifting cloud. Or, oh, a pot at the end of a rainbow. Hey, Bumblebee, let's talk for a second. I think this guy's crazy. I'm glad I'm not the only one thinking that. Should we let him in? Well, I guess so. Come on in. I'm so excited! Hey, wait! Whoa! There's so many doors and rooms and cool things here! Hey, calm down. Don't get comfortable. You're not a guild member yet. Aw, not yet? Why not? Because we don't just let any random schmuck in here and into the fortress. We're a tight-knit group of esteemed Pokemon warriors. And we don't want some clown ruining our whole system without being vetted first. Hey, are you listening? What? What did you say? Mm, get over here. Oh, no. I heard we're getting clear skies all from today to next Wednesday. Isn't that great? It's truly wonderful. Dragonite! Dragonite! Dedene, you look upset. Are you all right? I'm sorry, but could you come with me quickly? I think something's wrong. What's wrong? Please, just come with me. I apparently have some urgent matters to attend to. We'll come with you. Everything is so big here! May I help you? Well, that's why I should be asking you. Who are you? I'm glad you asked. I'm Hoopa. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what are you here for, little fella? Do you need this guild's assistance? Nope. I just need to become a member. Oh, so you're feeling a little ambitious. Let's skip Bunnelby and he'll guide you through the missions process. Speaking of which, where did he go? Hey! Well, I've never seen you around here before. I'm Piplop. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet all of you. I don't know where you could have gone. He usually never leaves new guests unattended. I guess it can't be helped. Dedene, will you please lead Hoopa to the performance evaluation area and guide him through the process? What? Me? But I never- I'm sure you can do it, Dedene. Just believe in yourself. Dedene here will help you. If you can pass all the tests, this guild will consider you for membership. Sounds like fun! What are we waiting for? Let's get going! I hope we can meet again soon. What the hell? What was that just now? Do you know him from somewhere? Never met him before in my entire life. You guys took some serious damage in training. Why don't you take the day off? Pikachu, doesn't this look shady to you? Yeah, so what? So, maybe we shouldn't... Shouldn't what? Go in? Yeah? No, we're fine. Look behind you. Hello there, kitties. Come on in. Glad you two could make it. I'm sure you won't regret coming to visit me. Not after I show you the legend in this book. The reason I trust you two enough to share my book with you is not only that you helped me get it back from those thugs, but you also radiate a peculiar aura. Now, I'm no Lucario, but I can sense something different about you. Specifically, you. Tell us, sir. What does the book say about the future of humans and Pokemon? Well, it's better that I show you. Do you know how to read this? It's English. It's what the humans used to speak and write. English? Human language? Then why couldn't I read it? Being the age I am, you pick up a few things, so I can make out a few words here and there. With the help of some of my friends, I've been able to translate entire stories, and this one blew my mind. Well, what's it say? In summary, it talks about a time where people, meaning the humans, and Pokemon worked together in harmony. Through their efforts, they created a peaceful world for everyone to exist. It brought beauty to the land and joy to everyone who lived in it. People gave to Pokemon and Pokemon gave to people. It was a system of equivalent exchange. If one needed the other, the other was there to help, and that's how conflicts were resolved quickly without dire consequences. People in Pokemon lived like this for centuries until a darkness swept over the land. A darkness? What kind of darkness? We call it the spiritual darkness. It's the kind you can feel, but you can't see. 
It was that kind of darkness that rushed in and plagued the hearts of these Pokemon and people alike. Suddenly, they started noticing the differences in each other, but not in a positive light. They began to envy what one had, the other didn't, and began to plot against each other. At first, the transgressions they committed against one another were small, even petty. But as time passed, the darkness grew and the bitter and jealous feeling grew as well. Soon, the little conflicts became big for conflicts, and the big conflicts became huge conflicts. Do you know what happened after that? The war. You're right, my boy. After a decade of neglect and abuse, the Pokemon and people finally went to arms. That is, they got up their weapons and fought to destroy each other. But it happened ten years ago, and it's all in this book? It's called prophecy, young one. Even though this book was created long ago, a prophet must have foreseen these events and wrote them down here before generations to remember. Through great power and unified might, the Pokemon overcame the greedy human spirits and vanquished them. Nearly the entire population. All except for two. Two? Just two humans? Two humans opposed to fight for either side of the war. Two humans whose lives altered by fate would lead them to alter fate themselves. How could they do that? At that point, what could they do? I'll tell you what they did. Alone and abandoned by hope, they remained in hiding from their Pokemon-dominated world and waited patiently for the day they drew their last breath, though their end never arrived. A new glimmer of hope did in its place and through the power of a rare and mythological legendary Pokemon, the two humans shut off from the world but granted a second chance at life. Through the Pokemon's powers, the humans were transformed into Pokemon according to the nature of their spirits and set free into the world to live what should have been new happy lives. But according to this legend, their lives were anything but bliss. In the human to Pokemon transformation process, memories of their former lives were to be left behind and probably replaced by new, cheerful ones created in the new peaceful world of Pokemon. However, one of the humans retained all of his memories. This corrupted his spirit and drew him even further into isolation. Alone, he plotted and contemplated a way to get revenge on all the Pokemon that destroyed humanity. Alone, he single-handedly brought ruin to the Pokemon world. In his chaos, he was unsatisfied and alone. His actions stirred the wrath of the legendary Pokemon who brought him to this world, and a war was raged between the two of them. In a terrible defeat, he fell to the darkest pits of the earth, a horrible place of darkness where no light ever shines. The world at this point was in such a state of ruin that no life could be sustained. Having witnessed the Earth's tragedy from start to end, the chosen Pokemon vowed to never let such a thing happen again, and thus the Earth was abandoned, left to a road, and drift away as a void rock in space. Is this... all supposed to happen? I'm afraid so. If everything else came to pass, I reckon this will too. It's our destiny. That is, unless you can do something about it. You're not a normal Pokemon, are you, boy? No, I'm not. I figured. You've got very human mannerisms, you're very observant, and you have a very expressive face. I could tell the whole time while I was reading this story your mind was somewhere else. Maybe in a far off place like the world of humans and Pokemon that used to exist. But how could I go someplace I can't remember? So it is true! You are the human from the legend! I, I wouldn't say that, I just... It's true. I can vaguely remember being a human at some point, but... All the memories are fading away, and it's getting hard to recall anything! The further you adapt to your Pokemon body, the further you'll drift from your former self. It makes perfect sense. But I don't want to forget what it's like to be a human. I want to remember! I want to remember so I can learn from my mistakes. So the same thing doesn't happen again. So I can protect Pokemon from the same pain humans must have experienced. Pikachu. You have a good heart, and you might be just the type of character to alter the fate of this world. You might be the Pokemon or person, rather, this prophecy was looking for. Maybe you can change our fate. Maybe? You can bet I will. Pikachu's right, and I'll help too! You boys sure are lively. You remind me of my youth. Here, let me give you something before you go. What is that? A dear friend of mine gave it to me from a location she never told me, but said it would be useful. It's called an Aura Crystal. It can detect the true nature of any living thing's spirit. I think this will help you find and locate the Pokemon bent on destroying the world. Touch it. Whoa! Did I do that? When the crystal changes to a light color, it means the spirit in contact is good-natured. When the crystal turns dark, however... That means... it's a bad man? <laughs> Correct! You've already got the hang of it. Go ahead and take it. For 
real? Thank you. I know if anyone can save this world, it'll probably be you two. I have faith in you. Thanks, sir. Call me Caracasta. Call me anytime you need me. If you need to know where I live, any one of these folks around here will be able to tell you. Okay, we'll remember that. Thank you, Caracosta. Oh, Team Agua Shock. Glad you could make it. I'm just about to welcome Hoopa as an official Guild of Freedom member. Wow, really? That was so fast. He must be strong. Yeah, I was his opponent. Knocked me out cold. Hoopa. Huh? This container is starting to get hot. Really? That's weird. Check on the crystal. You've proven your strength and determination as a Pokemon warrior. Oh my gosh! My Pikachu, eye, look at this! What? No way! That then it. that means... I hereby today declare you an official and valiant member of the Guild of Freedom. May you be filled with a strong sense of justice and the power to fight for what's right to protect the destiny of all Pokemon. You think it's him? He was sending me weird vibes this morning. I can't be totally sure, but if I had to guess anyone, it'd be him. Uh, Dragonite? What is that? Nothing, just something we got on a mission today, that's all. Even though I don't, I'm gonna forget I asked. Anyway, Hoopa here didn't come with a teammate, so I didn't want to turn him down just because of that. So I thought since you two are also new members, that Hoopa could join your team temporarily until a Pokemon shows up to be his accomplice. What? What's the matter? You met this morning. You remember, don't you? I... well... I promise I won't get in the way. Hang on just a stinking second, Dragonite. There's something we need to tell you. I didn't believe it until I saw it with my own eyes. But Pikachu is a human. I heard him say it with my own ears. He's been lying to us this whole time. He's a liar and a deceiver. <laughs>